pick a question. I'll take, right. I'll take this right. one, sir. Uh, you get the first one. You're number right. one. Go ahead. All right. Oh, I need to run about three Windows apps on a Mac. I see Win on X, Boot Camp, Crossover Mac, VirtualBox, <laughs> Parallels Desktop, and VMware Fusion. Oh, I'm lost now. He's lost. I'm lost. Help me pick one, please. So there's two different things in here. There's Boot Camp, which is Apple's program, that lets you run Windows as if you're on yes. a Windows machine. It actually takes over the machine. Like reboot comes back up Windows. Right. You Literally, it's a dual boot system. You yeah. boot into Windows. The rest are virtualization. Yes. So what do, What's the difference and what do you like? So virtualization, if you want to be pure Windows, like if, especially gamers like this, because they get to use Windows like it's a Windows machine, right. then boot camp is the way to go. Uh, what's nice about the virtualization technologies is that you can run side by side. So you can have your Mac app running and right. your Windows app running. And that's really convenient because you can check your mail, you can check the web, and then run your Windows app. Some of these uh, virtualization managers, VMware, Fusion, and Parallels to be specific, actually let you not run Windows inside your Mac, but just yeah. run one Windows app inside like your Mac. They names Coherence Mode and other things. Yeah, and this, yeah, it's awesome. So it's as if it's a Mac application. Yeah, it's just in a <laughs> little tiny Windows right. box. There is overhead. It's going to take some CPU. It's going to take, take away some of your RAM. Yeah, and you get to allocate that, decide how much you want to give to the virtual machine. Yeah. The nice thing about um, VirtualBox, it's you, formerly Sun Microsystems. That's now, free. You, yeah, it's free. So if you're not sure, you can download that and just try it and see if that right. performs well enough for you. Yeah. So at least with a few of these, I know VMware Fusion and Parallels, you can do both. You can install mm -hmm. Windows as a boot camp partition. So those times that you really need all the performance possible, you could boot into Windows and you're, you, there's no Mac. Like a Word doc with pictures. You can boot right into Windows. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, the drawback to that is it does take up some disk space, yeah. but it doesn't take up a lot of disk space because VMware Fusion and Parallels will, you can, will see that installation and say, oh, do you want me to use that yes. in virtualization so you don't have to have two versions of Windows installed? Absolutely. The other disadvantage is you have to have a copy of Windows. None of these give you a free copy of yeah, Windows. Yeah, you have to buy that. Yeah. Or you have to acquire that, yeah. Acquire it in some magical way. <laughs> well, it's a. It's Microsoft expensive. was giving it away for a while. Well, for a while they were giving away free upgrades, but that's over. Yeah. Uh, so I a lot actually of people have old Windows machines or old Windows. Like you don't have to run the latest. Maybe you don't have to run the latest version. Maybe yeah. your old copy of Seven is fine. I I bought Windows 10 for virtualization. It was 120 bucks. Mm -hmm. It's not cheap. That's what Microsoft charges for it. But then you have a true uh, version of Windows you can install and reinstall. Once you use one of these programs, you can do something great, which is called snapshot your installation. So if you get malware, yeah, uh, because, trash it. Yeah, trash it. And well, sometimes with their kids, they just run an instance, they trash it every night, right. and they get a fresh one. Start every over. Day. Yep. Start over. So I haven't used Win on X. I have used Boot Camp. I haven't used Crossover Mac. Crossover Mac is more like Wine. Crossover yeah. Mac isn't actually. It's it's Wine, wine is stands not an for emulator. <laughs> Wine is not an emu emulator. It kind of is. What yeah. they do is, it, same thing with Crossover Mac, they they uh, duplicate the Windows calls. Yeah. So you can run some, but not all Windows apps. Yeah. If if it works with Crossover Mac, that's probably the cheapest Kind of like they easiest. wrap the DLLs around the little app. And yeah. I hope that it works. Yeah. It, it's, you know, and that, and I don't know, I, it, I think it's a great idea. It's, it's, um, it's kind of for the... Hardcore. Yeah, he doesn't uh, say user. which, uh, Lance uh, doesn't say which three apps. If they really are light apps and they work, I would try the freer, easier solutions first and then escalate as you need the them. The one advantage of Crossover Mac, you don't have to buy Windows. Yes. Because it isn't Windows. It's just tricking yeah. the application into thinking. Don't look over here. We're running Windows apps. Yeah. Um, I have used VirtualBox, Parallels, and Likewise. VMware Fusion. Um, do, do you have a favorite? Uh, it goes back and forth, and that's terrible. But they're always trying to outdo each other. It especially is. It's parallels a battle. and VMware. Yeah. yeah. So every every few weeks we'll get a press release saying, "Now we've got this feature." Is VirtualBox worse? The free version, the free solution, worse than it's the paid solution? It's not as elegant, but it is free. I mean, and, and for a lot of people, free is a killer feature. And it works pretty well. Yeah. I would start with this, and then if you, you know, want to get a little more performance, or perhaps you want to use. Uh, boot camp and virtualization, then I would consider Parallels yeah. or VMware Fusion. How I personally use need? VMware Fusion at yes. this point. Um, and, but as you say, next generation Parallels might be yeah. better. So just keep an eye out. But I, if I'm going to pick one, I'm going to say VMware But they're all, they almost always catch up with each other. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And that coherence mode is kind of cool. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah.